Welcome City Skylines players and fans. Today is February 22nd of 22. Two, 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 two. And in honor of uh, this special occasion, uh, we are going to do some tutorials. Uh, just some uh, get to know you tutorials, nothing real in depth. Um, if you're new to the game or making the conversion from uh, console to PC, you would find this uh, very, very useful. Uh, the first one we're going to go over here, uh, this is going to be a series of videos, just real short uh, videos. Uh, first one we're going to go over here is the uh, loading screen mod. And uh, what this does, you know, this speeds up the game and um, allows you to uh, basically have more assets and it spreads out your uh, uh, computer resources more. Um, real fast, if you look at these right here, these are vanilla loads. Um, all of the vanilla, they're kind of like packs or bundles of um, uh, the houses, buildings, uh, roads, all that type of stuff in there. Um, and then these uh, right here, it's now loading the assets that I've downloaded from the workshop. Um, I've currently got about 991 uh, enabled in this particular game. Um, it is missing, we're missing quite a few. I think we're missing around 300 and something uh, items that go with these assets. So if we're missing uh, like a cement curve, uh, uh, some weeds, uh, some uh, HVA, that's kind of like a air conditioner unit on the roof, uh, a Japanese parking lot uh, light, uh, that type of stuff. We're missing some of the items that um, would go into these assets if you had them all, uh, had all these items, they would automatically place in in the assets that I've downloaded. Um, obviously, they work without them, so I use them without them. Uh, it cuts down on the assets a little bit. Um, the duplicates, that's another thing that the loading screen mod does, is um, it will load the, uh, it will only load assets or um, parts of the asset once. So if you have a, uh, say you have an air conditioning unit that's on the roof of a building, but you have five buildings that use that AC unit uh, on the roof, it will only load it once, in theory. It will only load it once. You'll be using the resource to load it once. Um, that's one of the things it does. It does speed up the game uh, load time considerably. Um, I'm running a little short on RAM. Uh, I've only got 16 gig. Um, this bottom number is the RAM available. Uh, as it loads, this ticks up. And then I believe this is your page file, um, which I just let Windows uh, manage the page file. Um, I would just let your operating system do that. Um, other than that, uh, there is uh, uh, the tan color here, the brown color is missing. Uh, I think the duplicates are blue, and then if you have any red, uh, they're failed units, and uh, they flash through here real fast. Um, I don't believe I have any on this load any longer. I've deactivated, uh, unsubscribed to those. I would unsubscribe to them. Um, just because there's really no point in trying to load them if they're not going to work. I would go into the workshop and check to see what time or how long it's been since they've updated them. And if they haven't updated them in a number of months, um, I think I unsubscribed to one that hadn't been updated since uh, 2015. Um, so uh, I just unsubscribed to it and uh, it uh, it's no longer in the, in the game. Um, that's the other thing that this load screen does. Um, if the game, if there's a particular uh, asset that's outdated, or uh, say uh, Skyline's download, uh, you upload it and upload it into the game, but the asset is no longer working with that patch, uh, the loading screen will automatically skip that asset and it will still allow your game to load. Um, so you don't, you don't have any, uh, you won't have a crash or anything because of that most of the time. I'd say 
well, I'd say the majority of the time. Uh, there's not a crash or anything. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the loading screen. I would recommend it if you're uh, just starting out on PC and uh, 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 new to the game and just starting out on PC and loading the, uh, the mods and the assets. I would do the loading screen mod first. That would be my first mod I would download and I'd get that set up and uh, running uh, before you even do anything with the game. Uh, I'm gonna. There's gonna be a number of these tutorials today, so I'm gonna go ahead and run through those. But that's all we have for the loading screen. Uh, if you like the content, have any suggestions or comments, feel free to leave those and hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.